Good evening, everybody. This is uh, Mark Lambert of the Harmony of Discord Trading Group and also the Paz Fortuna Trading Group with uh, Anthony Marino and Olga Morales. And I'd like to uh, kind of give you my thoughts on where I believe the market is at this point in time. Uh, let me uh, bring up a couple charts here. And what we're going to do is let me back up here. Okay, as of last Friday, I forgot exactly what date that was, but uh, as of April 1st, last, last day of uh, March, I was looking for this cluster of timing right here to probably produce some type of reaction in the market, um, with especially 707 calendar days falling on April 2nd, 2012. Uh, 707 calendar days basically starts from April 26, 2010, which was the previous swing high just before the flash crash. And it uh, basically fell on to April 2nd, 2012. Um, 707 basically is half the square root of 2, which is 1.414. Uh, basically, I was looking for that day which would have been a strong time and price confluence to for the market to move up to 14.14 on the S&P 500 and also 707 calendar days it would have been a 2 to 1 ratio that would have been a really really nice spot for the market to uh, basically top out at but uh, obviously it then went a little bit higher doesn't matter still 707 calendar days is still a very strong timing and price uh, so with 707 calendar days we were looking at the S&P 500. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 here real quick. Uh, that, that basically fell on this bar right here, which was in the zone where I was looking for a top to possibly form. Anywhere from 1414 to 1440 would, would uh, basically fit the scenario. But the market was still falling inside of this uh, trend channel right here. A little bit of a breach here, but uh, the fact that uh, it ended on Thursday right near the bottom of this trend channel kind of left me a little bit uh, looking at the markets probably going to fall a little bit more. Let's take a look at the ESs also. When we take a look at the ESs blowback session on April 2nd we formed a secondary lower high. When we, when we take a look at the uh, uh, basically just the uh, primary trading session which is a New York trading session which would be the same one that coincides with the S&P 500 also form the high also on uh, April 2nd so with that now we basically have breached this long term ending diagonal or ascending wedge pattern the market retested this ascending wedge pattern two times during the primary session or the New York session and basically fell away from that so when we take a look at that, we have a pattern that's telling us that the market should have sell, sold off. Um, we had timing that was telling us that the market was at a very, very critical area at that point in time. So that's just a couple things right there that, that's kind of falling into the, uh, the uh, analysis. Now let me take a look at this right here just to show this to you where I derived my uh, prices from. Is the S&P 500. What I'm going to do is analyze two swings that are unfolding in the same direction. Basically, this swing, time and price, and compare it to this swing, time and price. Okay, with time and price, what we're looking at right now is uh, we've done 359.7 points in this first swing. It took 210 trading bars to produce that, which formed a vector ratio of 4 point, I mean 416.488. And when we take a look at this other swing, also unfolding in the same direction, it's on 347.6 points and 124 trading bars. Okay, we get a vector ratio of 369.065. And when you divide this vector, into this vector we end up with this 0.886 and when you wonder what 0.886 is all that is is the fourth root of uh, phi uh, what we do we calculate this out like this we'll enter 0.618 and we want to find 
its fourth root. So we then put in one divided by four. We end up 0.886. So the market has basically made a harmonic ratio of 0.886 from this swing to this swing when we compare it from this swing to this swing. So by looking at that, we're looking at both timing, we're looking at pattern, we're looking at this 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 ascending wedge, which basically is showing that uh, that this could fall hard. I mean, initially I would target the uh, bottom of this uh, rising channel that we've had here, which I, I've had this on my charts now for several weeks, and we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, if we breach it, what I would do is basically take a measurement of this wave right here, which is the uh, a wave unfolding in the down direction or the south direction. And I would superimpose it onto here, and we'll see if the market's going to fall down to one of these ratios. Uh, these are basically just uh, Fibonacci ratios and midpoints, and uh, we'll see how this all unfolds. But basically, this uh, this top has been something that we've been stalking for a little while, and it's really started to get interesting over the last few days. So when you take a look at these ratios, the pattern, the numbers that the market has been producing, the fact that it also closed today on the ES session at 1.375 or 1 and 38 1375 that's also a very very important number and it just seems to be that the market just keeps vibrating to these numbers and when you know them and you start looking for them you see them and when you start seeing them you'll also notice that the market always seems to stop on them uh, basically giving you good trades good safe trades to take and uh, I just hope you find this video useful uh, sorry about my scattered thoughts I've been pretty busy this week I've been uh, taking a couple trades here and there but uh, I've been uh, also on a side project so with that doing I have not had a whole lot of time to post up or really gather my thoughts as I'm going but uh, anyways as scattered as they are I hope you can understand this video and see what I'm looking at I'm thinking that this may be a a decent tradable high. Uh, we might have made half of the move already, but uh, either way, if there's still half left, there's still some more downside to come. But at the same time, let's take a look at this and uh, and uh, let's not go too crazy, get too excited, thinking that this is some long, long-term pattern that uh, you know could could unfold for the next several months or a year two two years either way it's kind of early in the stages right now but uh, this does have all these signatures of being a significant top I'm also going to show an extra Elliott wave count that I've been looking at and here it is uh, kind of made this up really quick the other day and I'm thinking that we might have formed a double correction an ABC five sub waves to a a seven wave counter trend correction another five sub waves up to form C so ABC which would be a W and then what we did is form an expanded flat which is a three wave configuration A three waves up B and then five waves down one two three four five forming C which would be the X wave and now we've done A B and possibly now we could be at wave C uh, like I said, that this this whole area, everywhere from like 1414 up to like 1440, is a confluence of fibs, which could be one of those things that uh, that could stop the market. So, anyways, trade what you see, and I just wanted to offer this uh, analysis to kind of like add to whatever you're doing already, and uh, hope you find it useful. Everybody have a great Easter, and uh, Godspeed to all.